and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very exciting one because I have been contacted by the brand W7. They got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to pick out a few of their products to try. I basically said to them just to surprise me with whatever and they have sent over an entire box full of there's my address on there, full of makeup. So within here, I'm gonna be able to do a full face. As you can probably tell, I have already done my foundation, concealer, and I've done my brows, just because I didn't receive any products for that in the box. But I have already used, where is it? They did send me a primer, and this is their Porefection Primer, and this is for pore minimizing, which are the usual primers that I go for. It is more of a type of like silky feel. If you use primers, then you'll probably know what I mean. But I really do like how my foundation supplied over it. So that was the first thing that I used, but now onto the rest of the things in the box. So this is literally how much stuff we're talking about here. Like, it is so much stuff. So the first thing that I'm gonna use is actually the first time that I'll be using any product of this. And these are their face shaping contour sticks. I have never actually properly contoured my face anyway, let alone using like a stick form. So I'm really intrigued to see what these are like. So in this little box, there is a little pencil sharpener at the top, which is always really handy. And then there are three sticks in here. This one is a bronzing one, so it's like a dark brown. And then this one is a highlighting one, so it is a lighter colour. And then this is the... Oh no, wrong way around. This is the contour one and this is the bronzy one. They are literally like the tiniest bit different in shade. I guess this is more of like a cool tone brown and this is a warmer one for bronzing. But anyway, I'm just gonna unwrap these because I feel like it's gonna take me a little while to do that. I remember always buying W7 makeup when I was a lot younger because it is so inexpensive. And I feel like since then they've really upped their like packaging and everything. Everything just feels so nice and like really well put together. Okay, so I'm going to start by using the contour crayon. That was satisfying. They basically just look like this. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. Oh, okay. They're really, really creamy. So this is what it looks like on my hand. It actually looks like quite a good colour to be fair. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see this. Oh, that's out. Oh, it feels so wrong, like just drawing over my foundation. So I'm just applying some there and then I'm gonna blend it out with a beauty blender. And then I'm gonna pop some on my forehead. I'm actually hoping this works really well because I have seen so many people use this method and I've just never actually tried it myself. Is that enough? I don't know. <laughs> this is so strange. I'm also gonna put like a tiny bit under my nose. And then I'm gonna apply some to my jawline because I see other people do it to be perfectly honest with you. I feel like this isn't going to be enough. I feel like I've got barely any on my face. But anyway, I'm going to take this beauty blender and see what happens when I blend this out. God, I don't think this is like budging. Oh, there we go. It was just me. It does blend out really, really easily though. I'm actually quite surprised by that. These earrings are seriously getting in the way. Okay, and now my forehead. Kind of like smudge this around. I actually do feel like that has worked really, really nicely. The thing is with these, I feel like they could be seriously buildable, and I'm actually not going to put any more on because I also have a bronzer to try, so I don't really want to go overboard. But I actually think that that looks really nice. Like you can kind of see it here, but as I say, it's not too much. I'm really impressed with them. Now there is a bronze one, which I will just quickly swatch for you. Wow, okay, this is a lot darker. But these are the two next to each other. Obviously, you can see also how much that kind of used. So they are the two of them together, the lighter one being the contour stick and then the darker one being the bronzy one. I do think that would look really nice as a bronzer, but I want to try this powder one that I've got. But I might just have a go with this highlighting one. Quite yellowy. Well, it looks quite yellowy in here. Oh wow, okay, that's really white. Again, this one is super pigmented and you can see it there at the bottom. So I actually don't know why you want to use this. I've kind of used my concealer to brighten my under eyes and kind of go down the middle of my nose. But I'm going to put a little bit of this like up my nose. Wow, but can you see how wonky that is? <laughs> and I'm also going to put a little bit under my brow bone. They're so easy to use. So if you're like me and you've never used any before, I would actually recommend these because I'm pretty sure they're going to be really inexpensive. I feel like creams are just so much more of a good idea because I feel like they blend in with your foundation so much easier. Okay, so obviously I didn't use that very much, but I do think it has made a slight difference. I'm really impressed with them, especially for never actually using crayons before. I really like them. 
Now onto the bronzer that I was talking about. This is their Honolulu bronzer and it's just in a little box. It does actually come with a little brush in the top here, which looks like this. It's one of these little kind of like compact brushes. I personally don't actually use brushes like this, but this is so soft and feels like a really good quality brush considering it's like a freebie that you get with one of these. But I'm gonna be using this big like powder brush. I'm also probably gonna be using this one as well, just cause this one like sheds so badly. So and I'm not gonna lie to you, I have already tried this out and it is so pigmented like i actually can't even begin to tell you so i'm gonna be really really light-handed with this and literally just dip it in so i've literally just dipped the brush in like tapped the product and this is how much has come off so as i said i'm gonna be so light-handed with it and just bronze up my entire face really basically just adding this over where I've applied that stick contour. I'm gonna take it across my forehead as well. Okay, I'm looking very bronze right now. So that is the bronzer and I actually love what this looks like. Like I really like the matte of it. I think it is a little bit harsh on this side, but that is probably my fault for just applying way too much. Obviously it's nothing that you can't blend out anyway, but I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and then I'll kind of blend everything together at the end but I want to move on to my eyes quickly because I have a palette to try out the first thing I'm going to use is their I got the power all day wear eyeshadow base primer again this is something else that I have tried this basically just feels like a foundation but it is super tacky which is what I really like about it because obviously it's just going to grab hold of the eyeshadow and as you can probably tell it is a lot brighter than my foundation color so it makes the base of your eyes a lot whiter which again is going to make the colors of the eyeshadow pop so I'm just going to apply this with my ring finger to my eyelids I also feel like this primer would be a great one to cut your crease with because it is so white. Like obviously as you can see that has made my eyes so much paler than this one and it is quite opaque so I feel like it could also cut your crease really well. I might try that actually. Whoa. Okay so that is the primer done and then the eyeshadow palette that I have been sent is the W7 Delicious Natural and Berry Eye Colour Palette which looks like this. I think this packaging is so cute. And then on the inside these are what the colours look like and this literally is screaming my name i think this is so nice also there is a massive mirror here which is such a big plus it comes with a little brush and again like the bronzer one this is such a good quality brush which has like kind of a flat end which will be good for like packing on the color and then it also has a fluffy end i am actually going to use this to apply the eyeshadows to really test it out for you guys so my camera just cut out but i have literally just finished putting this color in the crease of both of my eyes and i'm so impressed with the pigment like literally look at it and there was no fallout at all like there's none on my face and also when i pick the color up in the pan there's also no fallout there either so now i think i'm gonna go in with i think i'm gonna use this one here just in the outer corner just to darken it a little bit wow this looks so pigmented can you see this on the brush oh my god Okay, so I feel like they look very uneven, but we're just gonna roll with it. So next I'm going to, I feel like I wanna try that primer as a concealer to kind of cut the crease. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this and actually use it on the flat end of this brush. Look how well that goes over it. Like this just literally sits right over the eyeshadow. That works so perfectly as like a concealer. I'm just gonna do the same on the other side. Obviously I've literally like, barely done anything i just wanted to make the inner corner a little bit more defined so i'm just going to go over the whole of my lid with one of the shimmery colors anyway i'm going to keep using this flat side of the brush and i also was sent their matte fixes face spray so i'm going to use this and spray it on this end of the brush to make it a little bit wet to see if it's really actually do you know what i'm going to swatch these shimmers first and then see if making the brush damp helps with the pigment at all so i'm just taking this gold shade here and i'm gonna pack this on top of where i've added that concealer this is without any spray on the brush and i feel like already that is like so shimmery it's ridiculous i am gonna test it though and i'm just gonna spray a bit of this on the brush and then dip back into that shimmer shade. I don't know why this camera is literally making me look so ridiculously yellow, but hopefully you can see how shimmery this is on this eye. So as you all know, I use the Sony camera which overheats, so I'm just gonna turn it off for a little while, finish off this on my other eye, and blend it all out a little bit more, and then I'll be back with you. I'm now basically taking this shade, which is the other shimmery shade in the palette, 
and I'm focusing this on the inner corner of my eye. I was just saying how pigmented these are when you wet them, they literally turn into like a cream. So funny because my brother's here and I absolutely hate people hearing me film. I don't really know why. I think it's because I mess up so many times. He's basically sitting in the kitchen with his headphones on like full volume. I really feel like inner corner highlight just finishes off an eye look. So another thing that I was sent was actually this liquid liner, which is a glittery one. And I really want to try this, but I don't really know like where to put it. This is the little applicator. So it is a lot like my liquid liner that I use at the moment. I find that these are like the easiest ones to use. I don't know if this is going to be really pigmented. Let's give it a swipe. There is actually a lot of glitter as well that comes out in like one swipe. Look how sparkly that is. Oh my God, I feel like I want to try and cut my crease with this. Wow, that is focused. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go for it, you know? Oh God, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like also when I open my eyes, it's not just gonna like really transfer. Should I just put it on my eye? I think I'm just gonna add it to this glitter. Oh yeah, I've gone for it. Is this gonna dry then? Can you tell that I've like never used loads of these products? This is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh, see it has transferred up here. <gasps> I'm gonna use that app on it oh by the way you know the app that i referred to in my misguided video that makes everything sparkly it's called the kira kira plus app i will put it on screen now so you know how to spell it but i honestly every single comment in that video is about that app i feel like i'm going to be trying to get glitter off my eyes for ages this one is such a mess oh no i have got some lashes to apply as well which i'm really excited about because I haven't actually tried any of their lashes before. These do say that they're 100% human hair, which kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna try these out. I am just really quickly gonna do some liquid liner. Okay, so you may notice that my eyes look a little bit different now. I actually had to just remove all my eye makeup and redo it. I just didn't like the way it looked. I just think it looked really, really messy with that glitter all over the place. So there is still a little bit of shimmer left on my eye, but instead I actually applied it with my finger just so it didn't kind of transfer when I blinked because I just did not let that dry at all. So if you're gonna be using that glitter liner, just let it dry and be patient with it because I certainly wasn't and it just made a mess. But now I'm gonna move on to applying the lashes and if you've watched my tutorials before you will know that I like to apply one coat of mascara before I apply the lashes. This one is their W7 Lashes Galore Gel Volume Mascara. So I have had a look at this and the wand on this is really interesting to me. This is what it looks like. It's basically like a triangle shape but it goes flat. I've just never seen anything like this before but I feel like it's going to be really good for kind of getting in the inner corner because of the angle of it. So I'm going to just really quickly curl my lashes and then apply one coat of this. actually really like how that has made my lashes look I literally have like barely any eyelashes left on my eyes but this is really easy to space them out with this brush and I really like that so now on to the false lashes these are what they look like so they are just like a really natural looking wispy lash I would say and they do actually come with this glue here so to apply these I'm actually going to be using this glue that it comes with just because I want to test it out and see if it's actually good so I'm just going to take each lash and obviously take the glue and apply a small amount of it to the lash bag these honestly have the tiniest lash band like I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see it they are so thin usually I don't actually like a smaller lash band I prefer like a thicker one just because I feel like they're so much easier to apply I'm just gonna let this dry for about 30 seconds and then apply it to my lash line So that is one of them applied. Obviously the glue is yet to dry. It will dry down clear, but at the moment it does look quite blue. I would never usually go for lashes like this, but I'm really loving what these look like. Especially with this makeup look, I feel like it just lets like the glitter show through. So now I'm just gonna really quickly apply the other lash to the other eye. Also with these, I didn't actually have to cut them at all. Usually I have to cut the lashes down to size, but these ones fit my eyes perfectly. So I actually take back what I said about this really thin lash band. They are so easy to apply. Oh my god, I'm so impressed by these. So they are both the lashes applied now. Obviously they are really, really light, so they are quite hard to see. But I just think they're really cute and fluttery. So now I'm quickly going to finish off my face. And this is the highlighter that I have to use. It is the Glow Commotion Pink It Up Shimmer Highlighter Eyeshadow. So this literally could be used for anything. How stunning is this? look at this highlighter okay i'm literally just gonna put this straight on my face because i can't wait i'm just gonna take it on this massive fan brush and then i'm just gonna apply this to my cheekbones 
Oh my god. Wow. Okay, I didn't realize it was that strong. Wow. Okay, that is a lot of highlights. <laughs> I think I've applied way too much there, but I suppose you can never have too much highlight, can you? I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the tip of my nose as well. And then on the other side. Oh my god, this is ridiculous, this highlighter. I hope you can see how pink it is as well. I hope that's picking up on camera. Whoa. Like seriously, just gonna apply a little bit of this up here because I'm feeling a little bit matte at the moment. Okay, so I think it's safe to say that that highlighter is absolutely blinding. I didn't think I was gonna really like a pinky highlighter, but I actually am obsessed with it. I'm just gonna take that little brush from the eyeshadow palette and apply this to the inner corner of my eyes. This would also be such a nice color to just pack all over the lid as well. And how cute is this packaging? It's like a baby pink, love it. Just dabbing a bit of this on my cupid bow as well. There we go, I think that's enough highlight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the setting spray again and spritz this all over my face. That was way too much. Like I've just gone swimming. I really like how that feels on the whole face. That definitely feels like it's locked in my makeup and it's staying for good. Now what we have left to do is of course the lips. Now I have so many different lip products in here. So I am just gonna go through all of them and then I actually might try out a couple on the lips for you guys. So first I have two of their lip liners. These are the Lip Twisters. This one is in the shade Shiraz, I believe it's pronounced. And this one is in the shade Nude. Now I think I'm just gonna apply this lip liner just because it's gonna go with all of the lip colors that I have because they are all quite nude colors. Colors. So this is what these look like. They literally just twist up. So I'm just going to line my lips with this nude one and then I will show you the rest of the colours that I've got. Wow, this is so creamy. Then we have four choice of lipsticks. So this one here is one of their matte shades and this is like a very pinky shade. So I don't think I'm going to use this one for this look because I feel like that is like pink overload. But I will swatch it for you guys. That looks like paint. Wow, okay, they are so pigmented. So that is the matte one. As I say, I'm not gonna use that just because I think it's a little bit too corally for this look. But this is in the shade Oddball, which is such a cute name. <laughs> so the next ones that we have are their matte nude lip colors. This one is in the shade Velvet Secret and this one is Skinny Lipping. But these are giving me complete Kylie Jenner vibes with the little drips from the top of the bottles. I think they look really cute though. So this one is the shade Velvet Secret. I love the applications of these. They are like, huge doe for applicators and I find them really easy to use. So again, super pigmented, no streaks in there at all, which I think actually might be the one that I go for. But like that's such a nice nude color. And then this one is more of like a taupey nude. So again, exactly the same consistency. So then the last lip color that we have is a lipstick. This one is one of their winter nudes one and this is in the shade Diva. I'm obsessed with this. Look how cute this is. They have the little W7 logo embossed on the top. I just think that's such an adorable attention to detail. God, that is so creamy. That is a really, really pretty color though. Oh, I feel like I want to use that one. I think I'm going to try this one out, which is their Velvet Secret Matte Lip Nude Colour, and then I might wipe it off and put the lipstick on, just to see what they both look like. But this is this one. My lips are so dry right now. So that is what this colour looks like, which I think think it's making my teeth look a little bit yellow but all in all I actually do really like the nude of this I think it's like quite a tanned orangey tone nude I don't actually have any lipsticks like this at the moment so I'm actually really impressed with this one it is still a little bit wet at the moment but I think because it is a matte lip it's gonna dry down but yeah I don't think it goes with a lip liner but I do love the color of this and the way it kind of ties in with the rest of the makeup look but I think I'm gonna wipe this one off and I will try out the lipstick on my lips to see how this one goes so that was actually quite hard to remove but I suppose that's never a bad thing with a liquid lip because it just means that it's not gonna budge throughout the whole night. But now I'm gonna be testing out this lipstick and I'm just gonna apply this straight onto my lips. I'm not gonna bother with a lip liner. So this has a really, really thick consistency, but I really like the way it's actually made it apply. It is quite hard to move about, but it just feels like it's just not gonna budge. And I do love the way that this color ties in with the eyes more than the last one. So I'm glad that I went for this one, but that is gonna be it for this video. I am just really quickly gonna go through all of the products that I was sent just so you guys can see them all again 
online and kind of get an idea of what they have available at the moment. There were also a couple of products that I didn't actually use within this video that are in the box, so I'll also show you them. First of all, we have one of their makeup sponges. This is the Powerpuff Pro, and this is it not damp. It does feel like quite a dense sponge, but I am intrigued to see how this is gonna fare when it is dampened and using it for my foundation. And then another thing which I didn't feature in this video is this powder. This is their Matte Dreamer Loose Powder. I have actually tested this out when I first tried to film it, and I used it to kind of neaten up my contour and my bronzer, and it worked really, really well. It brushes off so easily. I applied it with the sponge, and then it really easily just blends straight into your skin when you wipe it away. So I really, really love this. Then also another thing that I didn't feature was one of their Easy Peel Face Masks. I think these are quite new, and these are just one of their charcoal deep clean and purifying masks. And then onto the things that we did feature, but just to recap, we have one of their highlighters, which is the Glow Commotion Pink It Up Highlighter. Then we have the Matte Fixer Face Spray. Then the W7 Lashes Galore Gel Formula Mascara. Their three contouring and highlighting pencils, which also comes with a little sharpener. Their Perfection Pore Minimizer Primer. The Delicious Natural and Berry Eyeshadow Palette. Two of their matte nude lip colors, one in Skinny Lipping and one in Velvet Secret. Two of their lip twisters, one in Shiraz and one in Nude. Their Honolulu Box Bronzer. Their I Got The Power Eye Primer. One of their Winter Nudes Lipsticks, and this one is in Diva. The Mega Matte Lips in Oddball. And then finally, the lashes that I'm wearing. But that is everything that I was very, very kindly sent from W7. I really hope you like the makeup look that I have come up with using all of their products. I will link below exactly where you can purchase W7 makeup in store or online. There are so many places where you can pick it up. I will also find all the products and leave them linked below as well. So if you do want to purchase anything, then they will be down in the description. So just go and check down there. But I'm not gonna drag this out any longer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see any more videos from me in the future. And thank you so much for watching as always. And I will speak to you very, very soon in my next one. Bye guys. Bye.